Informational memos are usually in-house communication addressed to one or more people. The objective of an informational memo is to provide a few pieces of information that relate to a specific topic which is stated in the subject line. Besides actual information, the memo should include some information about why the information is relevant to the reader. Each memo should have a single objective, and the objective of an informational memo is to reveal new or refresh old information in a way that benefits the reader and brings the reader up to date. It should be presented in a crisp and clear manner and provide context for understanding. At the beginning of a memo, you should establish your objective. So how do you write an informational memo? The best way to start with an informational memo is to write quickly. You should start by writing an outline and then build out a sequential list. It's important that informational memos contain a logical structure. They need to be written in a natural and strong way. Write as if you're communicating with a single person. That doesn't mean write the way you talk. It means write clearly and cohesively. It helps to read the draft memo out loud and always go back and revise. When you close an informational memo, you can use the last paragraph to draw conclusions or to make recommendations. It should be clear what the purpose of the memo is to the readers by the time they come to the end. Memos can be an important administrative tool, and they should be clear. For many companies, official memos are something that are auditable or can be used for legal proceedings later. So you want to make sure that whatever you're including in an informational memo is both accurate and important enough to merit a memo. As with all forms of written communication, you want to go back and revise and edit the memo. Grammatical errors, misspellings, or poor sentence structure can undermine the purpose of a memo. You don't want people to focus on the means of conveyance. You want people to focus on the message. So look for accuracy, clarity, and a sense of completeness. At the end of the memo, people should understand everything you wanted them to know, even if they don't have the full backstory. Now that we've talked about informational memos, let's talk about instructional memos.